So the less watery and the thicker your pigment is, the more intense the color will be. And that's why I kind of let the water sit on it for a while. It'll make, it'll make your, your pigment more intense. Um, but I'm gonna move this a little bit over here. And I'm gonna move our guy over here. All right, so this is really fun because you can make him or her any color you want. So, hmm, I'm thinking I might do some reds and oranges and yellows, keep it kind of bright. So, let's see. You could even mix some, so I'm gonna mix some red here. I like to clean my brush between um, dipping into the different pigments. So let's see what this looks like. Nice. This is kind of like a traditional octopus color, but you can make them whatever color you want. I'm gonna put a little yellow in it too. So you can get some really intense reds too. See if you go right into the red. And since it is watercolor, it'll kind of soak into the model magic since it is a foamy texture. I also have my paper underneath so you can see if I make a mess, it's totally okay. Well, um, watercolor um, should wash out of your clothes, but just in case I would um, maybe wear a gown. You don't have to though. So I really like actually these colors. So I'm gonna do part of his head too. I'm gonna try to avoid his eyes. I kinda want the whites of his eyes to stay white. I think if it's still wet, you can kind of wipe off um, the paint if you get it somewhere you don't want it to be. Is this making anybody else hungry for sushi? Like I said, we can kind of get in those little detailed places and I kind of go around his eyes.
really like this color. He almost looks like a sunrise or a sunset or something like that. you can paint the bottom I would just suggest waiting until after the top is dried um, but he looks pretty cute I'm gonna um, add the color to his face now I might do a very very faint hmm, let's see blue um, to the whites of his eyes actually So I don't want it to get too drippy, so I'm just, I have barely any pigment um, on my brush. pigment there and then for his the um center of his eyes I'm gonna do black actually so since that black's been setting with that water it should be pretty dark and not too drippy Okay, so now he just needs a mouth. Hmm, let's see what color we should do. Maybe we'll do purple. Maybe like a purpley blue, let's see. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. I'll see you again soon.